Hi there, I'm Miriam and welcome to Miriam's Manor. Thank you guys for joining me for part three of my Christmas Village setup for 2021. If you haven't seen part one and two, those videos are already posted and I will have them at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and get into it and check out how I set up part three. All right guys, here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fit my road. Now, I'm not going to secure it down yet because there are cords that I have to run first before I secure it, but I am going to fit it first. So I wanted to show you guys how I did that for this area to give it that um, seamless look to lead into the town square area here. So what I did was cut this little chunk out here, which will wrap around the post here. And I also cut this straight line to butt up to this spot here. So this is how it's going to end up looking once it's attached. Okay, and since I can see that that is going to be exactly where I wanted, I have my other edges already cut and I am going to carry this on down this way. Now this one I am gonna go ahead and glue together and get this secured here. So one thing that I have been trying to go back and forth about is deciding whether to keep the road in the front of my village this thick because it does take up quite a bit of space but if I leave it this thick, and by the time I put a building here, in order to keep my entryway as wide as I want it, I don't have much space for my building, and this will end up sitting on the street. So I think I'm going to cut this in half in the front. That way it'll give me a little bit more walkway also to add trees as well as the street lights and people gathering and shopping and things like that. I've come to cut this on a hard surface and this is my halfway point here. So I'm just going to take a straight razor and cut this road right between the bricks so that hopefully my seam line, this cut here will look seamless. So the next thing I need to figure out before I move on are my lanterns and get those set. So I also have my Lemax AC adapter because if you guys don't know, there is a hole right here that you can actually use an AC adapter for so you don't have to use the batteries for this. Okay, so since this is my first one, I can't detach it from this base cord. So I am going to run these up and under and through here so that I can keep my wires rather seamless. So I want to show you guys what I do with my AC adapters when the cord is not long enough to hit the floor. So I tape them underneath the tabletop or to the wooden leg of my sawhorse, whichever is better. And then I make sure to leave this hole open so that I can put the cord in and I just plug it in from there to my surge protector. Right now I am creating a tunnel for the street light cords. Notice that I have already marked my styrofoam with a green sharpie where I want my street lights to go so that I make sure they are evenly spaced. I noticed that my video wasn't rolling when I did these first two so I do apologize for that but I still do have to do these two. So I already hot glued the street lights down first and all I am doing from there is since the wires are longer in between than how far I space the lights apart I'm folding the excess wire over onto each other and then pushing them into the tunnel that I created and then I am securing it by pushing the floral pin over the top. Okay. 
Okay, so my cords are all set for my street lights. And if you get a view from here, you can see that they are not protruding above the tunnels. So my road will lay nice and flat on top of this. All right, so at this point, I do feel comfortable with gluing down this particular set only. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set in place. That way, as I am cutting the rest of these, I will have um, a guide to work around. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this paper here and then also on the styrofoam. Okay guys, so I have hit my first stumbling block while building my business district and it is around my church. Now, I absolutely love this church. This church takes an AC adapter and it is a special kind, it's not Limax. I can't find this adapter anywhere. I have checked every single Christmas village bin that I have and it is not in any of them. And I am like meticulous in how I pack things up. So I'm really not sure where this cord is and how this one little cord has disappeared. <sighs> so I really love this church because the little lights like twinkle and sparkle um, in the front of the building. And this little Christmas tree right here actually spins around. And I really wanted this church to make the statement for the front of this scene. And I had it in my head all set out. So now I'm going to have to use my backup church, which my backup church is still really pretty. Um, this is it right here. And it just takes a regular light at the bottom. So I can still use this one, but it's just not going to be that look that I was going for. Um, but maybe if I find the cord as I continue to um, build this village, I can stick this one somewhere else, we will see. I'm wondering if this cord might be in my other Christmas bins that have like my garland and stuff in it. I don't know why I would put that in there, but if I find it, I'm going to tell you guys and I'll let you know where it was. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, proceed with backup church number two. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, I did cut the paper just a tad too short here compared to how I brought it down further here. But I am not concerned about that at all because I plan on laying snow over this. And that little tiny gap that's like an eighth of an inch will definitely be covered and the rest of my space is pretty seamless so i'm really pleased about it i'm gonna go ahead and stick my buildings up here
I thought I had my plan set for where I wanted my building to go, but I decided to change my mind and I want this building to sit a little bit further back. So I need to carve out a wire tunnel for this building. Now it's okay if I ever want to use this base again because I know I can repair the top part of this if it's ever going to be visible with another design. So I'm not worried about carving this wire tunnel out on the top because the placement of the building is more important to me than the tunnel that I can fix at a later date. So the moral of the story here is you can make a plan when you are villaging and sometimes that plan will change once you see it all put together. And that's okay. What's more important to me is achieving the overall look that I desire instead of sticking to the plan. I'm not sure if you guys noticed before when I was building my tiered base for my town square that there was no access point down. And no, I didn't forget about it. I just knew it was going to be a part of this plan. So I am going to create a little pathway right there on the back of this piece. But I am going to take a piece of cardboard that I've already fit to size, wrap this around it, and then attach it there. First, I'm going to fold this up on the bottom and staple it, and then I'm going to fold it over on each side and staple it below and in the middle of the cardboard. Before I add the staples to the top of this piece, I'm going to take a floral pen and attach the cardboard to the platform that I built underneath the paper. And now I can staple this up here to tighten that a little bit more. These are the trees that I made on the live Okay, so to close up this hole here, I am just going to drop this little bush right there. And then the cord is still a tiny bit visible, but I am just going to drop some snow there and all will be well in the world. To hide this cord, I am going to put a tree right here and then to hide this cord i'm gonna put a tree right there now this is still a little bit visible from the this one is still visible from the side so i think i'll add Here to cover that side up. And you can see that one is still a tiny bit visible from the side as well. So I'm going to grab another branch that'll kind of snug up a little bit closer to that there. I'm going to stick this tree right here to hide.
All right, so now it's time to decorate down below. Now you guys remember I had this cord still showing. So I have this really nice, cute little bushy tree that I am going to put there to block that cord. So you don't have to be afraid of having buildings face a certain way. You just have to make a plan to take care of it. And then you can place a building wherever you want and not have to worry about cords. I like that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna place some little trees here. Place a tree right there. Then I'm gonna come in with these white aspen trees. And this is one of the things that I think is so important in like tree placement and designing your trees is making sure to use a variety of different types of trees within the same area. That adds so much visual interest to the space and it just looks more realistic because you never see the same type of tree everywhere within one space. They're always a little different. so. This makes it uh, more realistic. All right, so now before I add any more trees, I'm gonna add some figurines first. And I have my carolers, my church family, and my little pastor. Stick them right here. Let's see. You know what, if I remove that tree, I can actually back them up a little bit more and then have them singing right next to the church. That works, oh, that's cute. <laughs> For the front part of this village here, I am repeating the exact same process as I did on the other side. So I am fast forwarding through this so that you guys don't have to watch this all in slow motion.
Okay, so it's time for the trees. I did put my aspen trees in the front here, just like on the other side. And now it's time to add the rest. So if you buy any type of regular floral pick and you lose a few pieces like this, do not discard them because they actually make really great little plants. They might not be enough for a tree, but they do add a nice little touch of interest and pop of color. So as you can see, this one came off of this little piece came off of that tree there but it still looks so cute right here and even if you want to spread your bundles apart if you feel like you can clip one or two pieces off of something and still keep the look of your tree go for it because it's only going to just add more color to your village and more variety as well and even these little things I make little bushes and trees out of, but since these two fell off, I'm just going to use them as little flowers to line my building right here. It's always better if you kind of poke a hole first. There we go. See, and then I have cute little flowers lining okay so these are the trees that I have added so far as well as bushes and little flowers and let me show you what I did behind here to hide my cords I also ran some bushes and trees and things like that along here and then in the back over here I added these taller trees and then of course some in there and here and here <laughs> I like using a lot of greenery and trees in my village I really love the way that it makes everything come to life so before I add anything more I think I'm done adding trees for now but I want to add some people and get them filled in before I add any more folks before I add any more trees All right, so bonus footage. Remember from my town square when I had to find my gates? Well, it turns out I only had three packs. For some reason, I thought I had four, but I did not. So I had to order another set. It has come in. So I am going to fix that little gap in there. And then, of course, when I was on eHobby, I found this um baker guy and i absolutely love it because i have another baker out here for diane's bakeries this little shop here so i'm gonna say that these two guys know each other <laughs> and that um they're off selling bread together in the town square and then i also forgot to put my coffee folks out in front of my two coffee shops so i'm gonna add them as well get these fences added oh and you guys well I was also on eHobby look at what I found aren't these the cutest little street lights and you usually always see people's downtowns or town squares have these little signs off of the lights. So 
I think my mom has these, but I actually forgot about them because she had them last year. And when I saw them online, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get them. So I am going to go ahead and sneak this in right here at the front of my town square. And because I knew that this was coming, I did save an AC adapter up front for this. And I am not going to worry about trying to cover the cords because they're going to run directly in front of the styrofoam. And when I put my table skirt on, the cords will absolutely be hidden. This little shop here is Diane's Breads and Pastries. So I love that I have two bread peddlers out selling bread for this little restaurant here. So I know I just laid this snow here, but I have changed my mind. I actually want to put some moss down here first and then cover this up with some snow. So I'm just going to take some regular white glue on a paintbrush and um, paint this on and then add the moss. And I'm also going to do this throughout the rest of my landscape. It's just now that everything is really set in place, taking a step back, seeing where I can add a little bit more fine details and add some moss and snow in those areas. So everything is set in place and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. So I'm gonna stop talking really soon. One thing I just wanted to point out so that you can begin to capture my vision as we go through this process is the different levels that I am incorporating into this space. So everything in the front and the town square and the front here is all on one level. And then all the buildings in the second row are all elevated slightly. And we have different elevation heights. So we start low here, we come up a lot higher for the town square, and then back down low again on this side. And this is going to be a theme throughout this village is varying levels of height and playing with that so that it adds a lot of great dimension to the village. So I'm gonna stop talking now and give you guys a tour.
So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put together my village again. If you have any questions for me, leave me a line in the comment section. I will get back with you. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for this video if you did like it. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon so that you can be notified of all of the videos that I have coming for you the rest of this year. So until I see you again, stay safe, God bless you, and I hope to see you soon.